What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing the Green Shadow Savage deck uh, named after this card right over here, the Savage Spinach. Now the idea is to um, really kind of stalling for time mostly though on turns 1, 2, and 3. Captain Cucumber will just stall time and draw cards and then you really want to come in with your big tempo uh, on turns 4 and 5. Now if you have, let's say, Captain Cucumber in the field drawing cards every single time it does damage, uh, it'll actually grow the Bananasaurus Rex. You can also have some setups on the field first three turns put some leafy cards on the field like the Shellery Bonk Choi. Uh, this is actually a leafy card, the lily pad, um, or the um, pea patch, and that will uh, enable you to play your cap your Savage Spinach. Now if you play Savage Spinach on a leafy card, it'll buff this to a 5-6, which is amazing. Plus, your both your Gatling and your Bananasaurus Rex and all the cards in your hand on the field will actually grow by two attacks. So having a Bananasaurus Rex that just starts off with five attack being double strike is just amazing. Gatling P, of course, is the same way. Uh, a huge finisher in this deck is to, either, is to um, one way, is actually just have P patch uh, anywhere on the field and put a Gatling P on top of it. The Gatling P will uh, first grow to, seven, uh, to a 7-6 and then do a bonus attack and then it does double strike. Someone told me a rumor, I'm not sure if it's true, but people are saying there's a little glitch in the game that... Uh, if you put a double strike minion on coffee grounds, it'll actually do three attacks. Uh, I would like to test that. I don't know if that's true, but uh, anyway. Let's just get right into the game using some bonus attacks as finishers. Hope you enjoy. Another combo with the lily pad. I actually don't have this deck list up. You can see the savage starfruit one that I was playing before. That did not work because it was just too slow in today's meta. Um, so this will be the savage, call this the savage gatling deck, I suppose. Just calling it the Savage deck. Yeah, like it's a pretty savage card. The coffee green the grounds thing is fake news. Anyway. It's still coffee grounds, um we don't really need any other environment in this deck. It actually does work kinda well with Captain Cucumber, which will draw two cards in the coffee grounds, so. Alright, so we're looking for I believe some late game here. That's pretty good. I think we'll actually play on curve and maybe try to set this up as a springboard to either a three or a four. We could blow that. Let's just counter. Which event super rare should you craft for brainstorm? Here you have two bad moon risings. I mean, you can do a, a three Bad Moon Risings for a Bad Moon Rising deck. If you're going to really rely on that, I would say run, run three, at least. Alright. I think this is more valuable. What if this gets lightning bolts? It's actually a good thing, because it means B-Rex is going to be better. Oh, this guy's annoying. Hello from Italy, welcome Sting. Uh, what do you do? Lightning? You do bungee plummet it. Let's see if he has a lightning bolt power. Damn. Okay, let's still draw a card. It absorbs his lightning bolt, which is actually really good here. Because now the B-Rex is just a lot stronger. Plus, we'll still draw the card, take out this minion. We're doing alright. Ooh. Two cost raptors, so we have two types of dinosaurs now. Ba -da -dum -bum -bum -bum. We're at 14. I'm actually gonna go like this. Now, I don't want to play, you know, it's really easy for him to just kill the Bananasaurus Rex this turn. Now that if he plays any tricks, of course, Black Eyed Pea grows. And these 1 3s are really not easy to take out. That just happened. Like, you're taking out the Black IP with that? Okay. Fine. He has no cards now. This is good. 
Gatlings incoming. So we can either go Banana Star Strikes Blow or Gatling. If he plays a minion, especially if it's a big minion, B-Rex Grow is going to be amazing. I think that's good enough. The B-Rex does grow over time too. We're not like holding at finishing him off right here. Now we're going to put some space between these just so you have a little options for your Gatling P. I guess putting this in two would have been... Hmm, it's okay. kind of like my B-Rex to the right, it's just so the Captain Cucumbers on the left will buff them up. Yeah, we're obviously way ahead here. Yeah, I got rid of Rotobega. I don't. I feel like Rotobega is too much of a liability. In fact, that might have been one of the problems. Uh, really, one of the problems running the Savage Starfruit deck is when we back when we did it, control decks weren't that much of a thing, and the Rotobegas were good. If you're playing against a control deck, literally every control card in the game takes out Rotobega. He can just quit right now. We'll count this as a win. He's way too far behind Zemek to catch up here. Ain't happening. Got him. I'm sort of recording this if you're watching this as a YouTube video. Theoretically, if this gets uploaded to YouTube. Uh, I'm recording this sort of as the second half of a stream. We were trying again Old Savage Starfruit and it, did, it was too slow. So I reverted, got rid of the onion rings and the star fruits, and put in banana Surus rexes and gatlings. So, um, if this deck is winning this fast, though, I mean, we could, we might even have time for you know, get eight games. So, we'll see. Try to get at least six in. Eight would be nice, though. Phone got laked. No. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I do want to test this theory with the coffee grounds. I think we're just going to keep that. This is not going to happen against... Oh, that black IP is so much better. The Frenzy deck. I have a couple. You can look up the Vampire decks I have on YouTube. I have one with the Smash, I think, and then one with the Morticia. They're both from... both pretty recent. I'm sure they're relevant. I'll see you later, Magosa. Good luck with your essay. Hello! Good luck with your essay, essay. Get it? That was a Spanish culture reference. Mexican culture. Okay, uh, I don't think we spam this on one. This is really valuable in the late game to take out a big guy, so. I don't know, somewhat recent, like in the last six months, I suppose. It's not like one of these ancient decks that aren't relevant anymore. <laughs> go! Frenzied Goats. Right. That was decent. But, um. Must be an emote that says but um, right? If not, I'll make one. I should definitely make that one of the channel emotes just for all of my dad jokes. Come on. I'll put in my stuff to do. But um, that'll probably be the next emote I make. <laughs> Where's Beta Caratina? What is this guy doing? Is he roping on purpose? His name is Freeplay30. Bet 10 bucks is the Valk deck. Is he actually, he's actually purposely roping us. That's annoying. I bet it's a trickster deck. He passed turns one and two. He's not AFK, didn't he just use Eureka there? He's stalling on purpose. That just happened. It's a trickster deck. Maybe it's hybrid. Okay, that really sucked. What? Why? 
Yippee freaking do. He sucks too, that's nice. I can set up one of these environments, why the heck not? In fact, if he passes, I don't know if I'll environment because it might be Nebula. It's called the Trickster Rope, rope Hybrid deck. <laughs> So true, Chef Do. All right, everyone, just go. Everyone, friend request him and just spam him. Freaking Roper, piece of trash, Roper garbage. This is actually pretty good here for the B Rex to be in. Maybe I'll go with this. I think he's gonna Nebula here. You know if he does, we'll just cover it later. It's fine. I don't see this as a Valk deck because he hasn't played a minion yet. Okay, he played one. Wrath, that's fine. Trickster would be at seven right now. Rocket science would be disgusting here. Back him up. Uh, what is this? RCCH Gaming. You finally caught a live stream, so your third time watching you live. Cool. Welcome. Uh, he can't rock it anymore. Let's just ruin this guy. The, 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 this one, this will, first of all, draw us a savage spinach of all things. Okay. Alright, I see what's going on. Um, this grows automatically at 4 4. It'll be down to 12 now. Uh, this will actually grow the B-Rex next turn, which is cool. I don't really understand this card, though. I mean, this might be Valk Hybrid, but his Tricksters right now are at 7. He's got at least one more turn until he plays them. He might go for Rocket here. I don't really have a card to cover this, unfortunately. We should just be going face. That happened, so he bounces that. That's fine. Really okay. Uh, face. It's gotta be face. We'll do that just to buff this. Another B Rex. Really cool. So he'll be down to four here. Oh, should I have done the test? Damn, you're right. I should have done the test. Ah, my bad. I should have done the test. You're right, Spar Spearden. Worth it. Why didn't I take it out? Because it's not a threat, and I and he's down to such little health right now. That happened. We could test this now, actually. Eh, do it for the test! <laughs> I want to see if this hits three times. It doesn't do it? Someone just left that in a YouTube comment. We have to test it once. Come on. Okay. One. Ah, that's lethal. Two? No, it's not. Okay. Or one off. It's easy when we have all the cards in the game. It's easier. Definitely is. Can't deny that. Damn, okay. <laughs> we would have gone with this, we would have won. It's all good. We kind of have this game in the bag already. Doesn't seem like he has much in the way of rocket science. Wrong order? Doesn't work, you guys. It's just some BS thing. It could be a, it happened one time and it was a glitch. The guy said that after the, the, the coffee grounds went away, he was still doing three attacks. It could be it's just a BS thing. Oh, 
La dee da. Babbin Rising Zombot. It'll be just be Babbin Rising Wizard Zombot. It'll be fine. Press that one. It still needs to take two more than that. And us not getting super. That does not help. No more trickster bonus attack. Anyway, it's too hard. Got him. Does that mean we should change the environment to Planet of the Grapes or something? Uh, it's still okay. It works with the Savage Spinach and with the Captain Cucumber, so... We'll just kind of keep the Coffee Grounds defensive. Don't believe anything you read on the internet, Abraham Lincoln. Exactly, Cryptarch. Exactly. Blowgun isn't annoying at all. It's a control card that is a dry zombie. It's, it's not a good card. It was okay in um in Agro Infinity back in the day. I used to run that because it would clear up a lane. You'd anyway have so many minions on the field. Plus, it's a strike through zombie late game card, which isn't bad. It's almost like a power flower for zombies. Okay, two Gatlings, I think is too many. Ugh. Okay. Gabrielle, welcome back to the screen. Uh, there's no real point in bouncing that. I guess we'll go with this. This is pretty safe against Sumo. You know, because the, it'll at least bounce the arm wrestler back into his hand. <laughs> Inhale. <laughs> Inhale gun imp. <laughs> Guys are crazy. Call me the bestest host me for three beers. That's awesome. How did you get three viewers? What is this garbage? We will be protected! Which one do we like better? The one in lane 3 or the one in lane 2? I think let's freeze here. Let's keep one of them on the field. Keep the springboard opportunities alive. Which one do you like better, guys? I guess the one in lane 3 maybe is better, so we have more block meter options later. Mm. Nobody cares. This guy's trying to spam z -Mac us. Oh, wow. I think we rolled double threes. That's lucky. Yeah, that's not gonna work, dude. In fact, that doesn't work at all. This gets bounced off the field. I don't even have to react to that. What are you doing, man? This is not gonna even buff your cards. Okay. When people act like idiots in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. I, should I kill it, though? Maybe I should kill it anyway. In fact, maybe I'll just do this behind. Both of my guys survive, and I'll just go like this, and we'll have a setup play. Oh, yeah, I got rid of the star fruits. It was too slow. I should change the title. Is that me? Let it blow. No, I'm not letting it blow. No! Uh, that is the most annoying thing in this game right now. I cannot even believe that. I played it below my hand and it went off. You have to play it, like, on top of one of your cards. That is so annoying. It happened to get the right one, so it wasn't that bad. In fact, that ended up being good, but that could have gone horribly wrong. I really wanted just that team mascot out of the game. Come on, man. You know what? I'm doing this. <laughs> Spam, spamming away. The audio is really wacky. Marcio. He lightning bolted that one instead of this one. Don't ask me why. 
Lightning Bolt that one? It's interesting. I don't know why he's not taking out this card, but anyway, he'll regret it. Actually, kill the both of these. Oh, you're right. I'm gonna play around Weed Spray there. That is so slow. Look at this play, guys. This is guaranteed lethal. He cannot, with one brain, he cannot deal with this card. This is amazing. This is a 7 6, does a bonus attack, and we saw 14 damage going on his face. 3 and 0. There's nothing you can do here. Got him again. You can see this deck just goes a lot faster than when you're stalling for time and, um, you know, hoping for an onion ring star fruit. More reliable, too. Keep it going! A slow deck followed by a fast deck. It's <laughs> pretty good. Captain Cucumber is kind of a joke in this deck, but why not? Does anyone here besides from Mr. Napkino say the audio is, is weird? We have slightly better early game. Get rid of Roto Vega. It's really not a good card in a control meta. He's being fussy. Uh, we'll hopefully get to eight games here. We got 20 more minutes. Maybe refresh your stream, Napkino. Or change your earphones. <laughs> Did I not update the stream title? Savage Green Shadow. Update. Um, this is a little much. Mmm, it's gonna come down to the late game. I wonder if this is a little too much. How, what cards are even gonna be good against the Smash? Not nothing really. I did hear about the new Pokemon, the remake of Gen One. Uh, we'll save that. These two together will actually be good as a tempo play next turn. So did you change the Twitch title to on YouTube too. Da da dun da da dun da. We could go with this. It would absorb his super, which is I think is fine. We can actually do the um the double strike on this next turn. It's a pretty disgusting play. Uh, Audio is high pitched. Interesting. Why not? If he covers this with an environment, it is so slow. It is just the slowest play of 2018. He had nothing for three turns. It's game over. It is absolute game over right now. What are you doing? That happened. Keep it going. This is, what is he doing? Wow, the smash not control. Unbelievable. Um, he's going to be focusing on single target, so I'm actually not even going to play the Gatling. I'll save the Gatling for a finish. I'm actually going to play Bong Choi and B-Rex here. Dun 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 dun. Zero people care. This is going to be lethal. This is definitely Smash, which has passed. This will still do two damage to his face. Yay, Rolling Stone. This is not how you control Smash, guys. It is not how it's done. You gotta remove their play every single turn if you're playing control. It's one pro. You gotta run sumos. You gotta run a lot. The sumo ones have even helped him, actually. This is not how it's done. I'm just changing it to 4-0. We're not necessarily gonna win here, but... Uh... Fine, I'll change it back. If we get a one-cost P, I think it's guaranteed. Not quite. Yay. Defensive end for the win. This actually wins next turn, so let's just go with B Rex. To be wrecked or not to be wrecked. Okay, now he's dead. Are tricksters gonna be back? They are back already. Tricksters are the are are yeah. In 
Miss Lethal? How dare you, Karen? Bum bum bum. Nubis Smash. Yeah, a Smash Control anyway, you don't have the good late game options. It's really not worth it. I might do Smash Control to maybe Garg throwing Garg. Maybe it's good. Why do I keep going offline? It must be something with your internet. Maybe try lowering the resolution. Call me the best. Uh, this is too many things. I think this is still a little late. That's pretty good. Wow. So we're actually going to try to do the coffee grounds into the... Uh, against huge G, it it's almost never works. Maybe if we see um, Guy on 1, we'll actually do this on 2. Otherwise, it's almost always going to get covered by turn 3. So we have to use this defense lead to just take out one of his cards. Did not see Guy. I think this is fine, though. Well, we don't have a turn 2. Uh, we'll freeze him. We'll be fine. You said Control Neptuno would reign supreme, now that forgetting that Spartacus and Dragon are common, but again, it's, it depends how it works. I don't know if the plant meta is going to catch up to the tricksters that fast. It takes a little while for that to happen. What does Blowgun's description say? Just type it out for me, someone. Just type it out. That's interesting. Guess we cover this. <laughs> You're not allowed to say Miss Lethal without an explanation. It's one of the rules. You should know that by now. It's against the rules, you guys. Fire Rooster. Uh, is there any reason to put this on heights or not? Thanks. Captain Cucumber getting it done. It says it's better to blow than inhale because he might inhale the dart. <laughs> yeah, inhale dart zombie would just imp would just be like a dead imp, just rotting. Uh, we got a heal. Interesting. Gonna heal for real. That just happened. Wow, these smelly zombies are so slow. He's taking eight to his face. We'll draw another card here. They're gonna be a little annoying in terms of their ability to clog the lanes, but it's actually B Rex freeze, so we can actually get through one of them if we want. If that's what we want. Wow, it's two cost muscle sprout. Pretty good. So much damage. So much damage! And then the two, this 2-2 two, two can actually take this one out. We could go face. I think clogging lanes at this point is better. He'll probably put, put a deadly on that, actually. Uh, yeah, that was stupid. I should have played this one dry and then frozen this one to play around deadly. Of course I should have done that. Ugh, too hasty. We're gonna get burned. I know we're gonna get burned already. Oh, it would have still worked. Ah, damn. I was expecting barrel barrels, but went with the laser base. It was just a misplay. Plant food should probably win the game next turn. I actually don't want him getting that bag. This grows. He needs a gravestone right now. Need ya, I uh, need ya, I uh, need you right now. I need you right It's too slow, man. This guy is too slow. His name is Joe. He is my bro. It's just a setup for next turn in case he can... In case he has a rocket, I suppose. He's not gonna have it. He doesn't have a rocket. There's a freeze. Does not help. 
And that does not help either. Five and out. Quick five and out. Got him. Wait. Did something weird just happen there? I wasn't watching it attack. I guess it unfroze. But yeah, anyway. Why is Ironborn Imp called Guy? That's a good question. Um, that's actually a Hearthstone reference. Uh, in Hearthstone, all the heroes have their specific powers, um, and the only one that the only, there's only two that make a minion on the field. That is the shamans and particularly the paladins. It makes a guy. It makes a little dude on the field. Um, it's actually so of of huge Giganticus's four powers. There's one of them that makes a dude. It makes a minion. So we just call that the the guy. I, I guess we call it that. Best deck in the game. It's a decent deck. Bananasaurus Rex Gatling P is something I have... I mean, it's been around for a while. It's... I guess since Gatling P got five attacks, so that's only been for not that long. Um, it's just... I've been completely underusing this combo. It is such a fast way of putting on so much heat in the late game, particularly if you have set up, setups like we do in this deck. Um, we will have time. I'll, 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 I guess I'll do three more. What abilities would I give my avatar if it was a card in the game? I know it's never going to happen, so... It's not even something that's like, oh, I wish they would make a card after me. Like, really? I would just have to get do like some kind of Leroy Jenkins stunt and get that video to go really viral. Then maybe they'll make a card after me. This environment sucks here. Anyway. Beta has two guys for powers, right? And Morticia has two guys for powers. The fact that it's a specific guy makes it more... Uh, I guess it absorbs a rolling stone. Thus, theoretically making the... I mean, if he's going for a tree here, this is a really good play. Rolling Stone will just make the Captain Cucumber less likely to die to Rolling Stone next turn. Here comes a Tempo Paparazzi deck. This might have Tricksters in it too. This could end up being a really good deck. I'm a little scared since the Rolling Stones are actually quite good against the early game. We are actually weak to Hardy. I think this just dies in a Weed Spray. I suppose it might be able to absorb a Knockout. This is very sad. Against a turn 3 Rust Bolt Pass. There's so many things that deal with this. But hey, maybe he only has five cards, so it's possible he doesn't have one. He already used a Rolling Stone. Wow, has nothing. Okay. I wonder if this would have even been better facing it. His bodyguard. Oh, we're so far ahead now. We are. He, just the fact he can't deal with both of these in the same turn, unless he has Rolling Stone Knockout, which isn't going to happen. That is never going to work. That is way, <laughs> way too slow. Is there a better play here? I suppose this is it. This paparazzi is... Yeah, yeah, this is fine. This actually does 4 plus 4 now, the B-Rex, once the Captain Cucumber draws the card, so... Too slow, Stampedon. Way too slow. That's a 4 cost. Don't have any mushrooms, so it's a 4 cost 5-5 five, five bullseye, which is fine. Amazing. Oh, we, we got this one. We'll take out this paparazzi probably this turn. We got, we'll wait till he procs our block and him with the body gore, which is just going to make it worse. We can also buff things if we want. This game is, why are you drawing me cards with B-Rex in the field? This is the worst, oh, who even runs Regifter anymore? Come on, man. What, he's planning on chopping? Should we play around chop? Let's just make a strong play. He can't chop both of them now. The B-Rex will hit for 7 if he chops the 5-5. Five five. Yay. C congratulations. I wish you very, very good luck with that. So these two still trade. Uh, this should be able to draw the card. Grows the B-Rex again. I know it's not going to be doing much damage here. Oh, he's Dandelion King. Here's 5 Bullseye. Dandelion's useless. 
No, 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 no. We're running out of lanes, so we'll probably just go um, springboard into Savage. He's not gonna, all the rockets in the world are not gonna be helping him right now. There's Cheese Roller, very nice. Got rid of that one. We'll just go into this. No need to mess around. So, block, lethal. Heal, <laughs> okay. We'll hit him with a body core here. Wow, that actually hit. Uh, no, that's still lethal. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> we actually rolled a one there. Alright, six no. It's how it's done, folks. It's how it's done. Green Shadow is a female, yeah. Her name is Penelope, which is actually one of the producers of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if it's named after her. I'll send her a Twitter message and ask her. We talked on Twitter one time. Thank you again to Penelope for helping me recover my account that time it got lost a year and a half ago. Really appreciate it. Sing the Dandelion King song. I'm in a singy mood today. Yeah, this deck is not dicking around at all. One, two, three, five. I guess it works. I guess it works. We'll probably stick this on the field and then have the Captain Cucumber option. If not, we can always save this for the late game for the Gatling. You don't even have to play this. Probably we'll save this for like turn four. This, of course, is the card that makes the Gatling P end up doing a huge bonus attack. Penelope is Devin's daughter? Oh, okay. Aww. I don't know why. Champsil is also female. If you notice, she has a pink thing coming out of her face. Which means she must be female, because science. Okay, really? Alright, we're 7 to no. I guess I won't get that one. How come there's so much so many more male heroes than female ones? I think it's a gender imbalance, you guys. We need to go on strike. <laughs> Plus, the game was made in Seattle, so, you know, you know what I'm saying. I think Nightcap is male, yeah. It seems pretty dude dude. Get rid of the plant food for now. This black IP might end up being very good. I think one, two, and maybe use this as a springboard. Beta's female. Let's just make everyone gender neutral. Come on. Rock my zombies just subbed. How's it going? Welcome back to the stream. Uh, I suppose we control this. The question is with which one. I think the, the three damages might be useful later. I have no idea what this super brain is going to be pulling out. What's his name? It's called I Like Cox. <laughs> we have to beat him just for the name. He's Ultimate League? Ugh. Come on. I'll have no mercy on this guy. I will BM him severely. You must get BM'd a lot if you have a name like that. Pass. Doctor, who cares? Can't even play a trick this turn. Can't play an environment? What a weird play. Deadly bonus attack? I'm not gonna play into Rocket quite yet, so... We'll do it like this. Tricks don't work. Environments don't really work. I mean, again, deadly bonus attack. Wow, that is so slow. Doctor Who dies now. Looking for that deadly barrel. Got it. But they're still trading. He spent so many resources just to trade, you know? And the Savage Spinach is going to be pretty ridiculous here. 
What signature power is the best on the plant side? The zombies have a lot of easy, easy answers to that. That's interesting. A little annoying. We'll actually do this probably next turn. So we'll go here. We'll let this 2-2 two -two trade in. It's nice that Captain Cucumber has three attack now. It's significant. It's just good. This guy beat you, really? Shall avenge you, Time Warp. That did not just happen! He got a deadly Garg Garg Launcher. Holy smokes. That is not good. I mean, it's a 1 in 3 chance of this just going so badly here. We could maybe grow this card instead of doing the double strike. We really need the card though. I'm going to have to risk it. If this if this Garg ends up in lane in this lane, we are screwed right now. Please go dry. Please. The one in three chance, thank the lord, that's fine. Super happy with that. We'll draw at least one big guy here, which is, ah, that's perfect. Double strike Captain Cucumber. This is a really good combo. We're at 14. We're, we're in jolly old good shape. That's fine. Doc, this is not gonna, what? Don't have this play yet. Um... Just go for it. What did he give two? We could chop. Now, does he have any powers left? He's used telepathy. What was his starting power? His starting power, he did not use deadly, didn't use super, and didn't use chop. He very likely has chop in his hand. Or super. It's not worth yellowing it here. It's definitely not worth it. I'll actually just do it like this, like this. I suppose we can we can do this now. The thing is, if he chops this, it just makes this be able to survive next turn. The uh, Astro, oh, he has Deadly. Okay, well, we're still doing five to his face, so it's fine. And we'll draw one card off of Captain Cucumber. A little bit sad. I guess I didn't play that well around Deadly there. It's in the box. That's... Amazing? Amazing. In fact, if we get a Shellery here, this is even better. No such luck. Ah, this cop cannon is ridiculous here. It's legit ridic. It's not gonna be Vera. We have the full block meter. This gets nerfed down. This cop cannon does double strike and does not die to the deadly because it gets rid of the attack here. I suppose we'll do it here. We just need two damage. I don't know if I'm getting that hippie. I mean, if he doesn't have an answer to this cop cannon, we win immediately because of the double strike. Lane two. The five damage is really not that much of a threat. That is, that does nothing. Yeah, they're all so cheap, but it doesn't do anything. I think he also milled himself, technically. Yeah, he's milled anyway. So, it didn't really make a difference there, but that is guaranteed lethal. Got him. God deem. Why not lane two? Oh, did he put a one health guy there? Um, you're right. I could have done that in lane two. You're right. I guess it really why. So he could have covered the environment. Yeah, you're right. Lane two would have been better. You guys are right. You are right. Lane 2 and then done the, the pea shooter in lane 3. It would have been the same thing. Yeah, you guys are I'm sorry. Okay. This is an interesting combo. I'm going to keep this hand. This will be the last the last game. This deck is performing extremely well. I think we do develop this against HG. Didn't play his guy. I think the, 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 the damage is fine. It'll proc the block a little bit. This will have this will be on the field for when Savage Spinach comes around. Ultimate League HG. I really don't consider HG to, to be that scary as a competitive hero. Might even go double lily pad here. I think I will. We could lily lily, no, it's not. 
We actually are gonna do the cucumber on one and the savage on the other. Let's go down a little red. That's really slow. Super happy to see that. I think we'll cover the one on the teleport. Looking for a card. Okay. Teleport. <laughs> this guy is hilarious. Wow. <laughs> Huge gigantic because the super is so annoying. Come on, man. Harsh. Uh, we'll do the savage spinach on the on the on that one. What is this line dancing, Sandy? What is that gonna even be? Drone engineer teleportation zombie. Swashbuckler. I'm guessing drone engineer. Not smelly. Line dancing zombie, I don't think so. Can't be battle cruiser. Oh wait, if it was five cost four, no, it still wouldn't be enough. You're right, it could be a I don't know what's gonna be in there. Teleportation, there you go. Good call time work. <laughs> Drawing more cards. Bodyguard. Cool. Uh, one more minion would be very nice. Damn. That's okay. This actually draws us uh, another minion. I think it draws first, and that actually gets buffed. So we have a zero cost. That's interesting. That'll get moved in. Uh, this is a zero cost five one. Amazing. I guess we can take out the teleportation zombie. Why not? I don't know what he's doing. Blob or BMR. It looks kind of like Baboon Rising. That Bonk Choi. Zero cost Bonk Choi. To, ugh. Interesting. Um, doesn't actually kill the Savage Spinach, though. This draws us another card. <laughs> yeah, Captain Cucumber is getting it done. And there goes his teleportation zombie, which is quite good. This lane's clogged. We are in such Gucci shape right now. If it means blowing this, I think it is worth the blow. And then we can just go with, with this is amazing. Actually, we're just going face. I don't even care now. Uh, these are actually gonna have to team up here, which is fine. So we'll block. <laughs> <laughs> Might get super and just zap him in the face for an extra five here. Another teleportation. I'll do the I'll do the the what's it called? The chomper next turn. Maybe chomper bounce or something. How long is each season? I don't know, it seems to be about a month or two. Teleport in a gravestone, I'm gonna play. One cost double mint. Double mint's good against HG, it doesn't have any small removal. This is doable. We can actually just double mint in four and chomper in two. Looks pretty good. This is a big threat, this double mint. This is a really scary guy. He'll probably be able to teleport something in. But the chomper, I mean, he needs so much removal just to get past this turn. He's gonna... He's not necessarily gonna have be able to afford to kill the double mint because he needs to deal with these other threats, particularly a three-headed chomper. That happened. So they trade. It's a barrel out of his hands. Captain Cucumber is getting it done here. We got the full block meter. That gets deadly too. And Double Mint lives. He's not gonna have a one here, right? Unless he just top deck a treasure chest. No, so Double Mint will start growing, which is insane. There's Dandelion King. Dan Actually, this will proc the block, and Dandelion King will get a nice six in next turn. Yes! Oh, <laughs> that is so much value from that one cost doubled mint. That just proccing the block there is so huge. That is so significant. And he doesn't have any powers that can deal with it. None of his powers affect, like, the field immediately, unless you have a two matched up minions and he does freeze environment. That happened. So here's a nice six just to get in here. And this will set up the plan for him to be able to win. Oh, he's passing every turn. So we got five and 
this is fine here. I guess we can, well, should we go dry? Yeah, let's do this. These little pea pods are important. There's a little primal pea shooters. Okay, so there goes his headhunter. He got the headhunter, I guess, from the treasure chest? Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow, you're, you're really giving us that Dandelion King bag, huh? I think we have actually eight here, so Dandelion King uh, plan food wins in all four lanes. Because Dan, No, oh no, it doesn't. It costs, it costs six, though. Never mind. Okay, that happened. Time to put the pedo to the meadow. Do we have a strike through play of the sorts? We do. Strike through. 2 2 4 looks awfully good. Unless this is a pogo. I don't know what this is gonna be. We can go for it. Oh no! Oh, I've forgotten! Ah! Damn, that was stupid. Wrong one. Ah, uh, it went to work anyway. He's got a couple of bullseye. We'll block the Doctor Who. Burns a teleport for. He needs that teleport. He's trying to boost that card. Loudmouth. Okay, he'll boost his. Rock a block. I think you rock my zombie. Sorry, I can't donate one hundred dollars, but this is what I can do. I really appreciate I was it. I thinking it might be fun after the stream to play RNG decks against each other. Yeah, that would be fun. Uh, I'm a little over time right now. I, I guess we'll have time for the one game. Really appreciate it. Um. Uh. Wait. Four, four, and one. Wait. Four, one, four. Uh, wait. Uh, this'll do it. Nine, uh, eight. Yes. Yes, that's lethal. Got him. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> La-dee-da-da. Get that weak stuff out of here. And plant food for the win. Eight and oh with this deck, and we did it in no time. I mean, that was 40 minutes, I think. <laughs> Amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed, that was the Savage Green Shadow deck. This is like just a mid-range deck, you control for a couple turns, the Captain Cucumber really got a lot of value. And then you just finish them off with the really, really harsh late game we're running. It's really fast, they're all cost 4 and 5 minions to late game, and they're just really getting it done. Hope you guys enjoyed, that was amazing. Peace, this is Fry.